Uh, I'll tell you what's going to be coming down our alleys. Beautiful fall weather, but we got to get to Nicole here. We'll talk about the impacts for the United States and the southeast. We'll start with us first in this great fall day. Look at that. Temperatures down to 70s after two record hot days. Monday, Tuesday, can you believe 90? 86 feeling more like late summer. Now we're back at fall 76 to what we've done so far here. I think maybe up to 77 at one point. Two points that best measure of humidity 40s and 50s. You know, with that recent bout of the heat and humidity, we we're 2.70s. Let's get to Nicole. It's still a tropical storm, but earlier today making landfall. Here's the Bahamas Northern Islands. Nassau and the capital is a little bit south of here, but you can see there's almost due west movement 13 miles per hour. The storm is nearly a hurricane with max sustained winds 70 miles per hour, but you can still see there's a little interaction with land right here. Ragged a wall, uh, eye wall rather, but it is going to be making its way into some warmer water. Look at that almost bathtub temperature water upper 80s and that's the Gulf Stream. If you've heard about that off the east coast of the United States, not much in the way of wind shear, so there is a little opportunity in still being forecast for the storm to become a hurricane. Hurricane warnings that are still up and a lot of Florida that's under a tropical storm warning. So to become a cat one, barely making it, but late tonight to make landfall and then right on through, unfortunately, areas that get hit by Ian and then north of Tampa as it makes its way to the big bend of Florida. It makes a big bend itself as it interacts with the front and then it's up to the east coast and it's just a rainstorm by that time. What are we talking about in the way of rainfall? Several inches of rain, but our high rest forecast still shows right about that midnight early time period to make that track right on through. And then it's up the East Coast. In fact, it goes all the way up to Boston, New York City, Maine, and even Canada before it's all said and done to interact with that front. But right now, four or five inches of rain, especially along that Atlantic coast, are becoming more likely. At least it's a fairly quick moving storm, and at least as winds will be on the lower end. Now, for us locally, it's been great weather. You can say pretty nice for us. Those outer bands and some high surf and churning some of that in the Gulf Seas. But we do have a strong wind out ahead of it. But it's this front, its impact for us, that's going to usher in much colder air towards this weekend. In the meantime, it's just a temperature forecast for us. Nothing in the way of clouds tonight. No rain chance. A bit chilly north shore. Upper 40s near 50. We'll see 50s near 60 south shore. Tomorrow we get rid of more of the clouds, more sunshine. But look at that. Mild day. Mid to upper 70s. Humidity is still really low. It's still comfy. By Friday, you can see the leading edge of some rain coming. But that's not until Saturday. Maybe a shower. You can see it with the front that actually comes through. But the latest was most that rain fades and it's just the colder air we'll get into towards the weekend. You'll really notice it by Sunday and then maybe a cold rain to come with this as we go overnight Monday to Tuesday. So it's really going to be about the big changes that are coming along that front from look at that temperature 70s to 80 and a big drop off to come as that front is through Saturday. Sunday again, most of the day spent in the 50s. Yeah, you'll notice that especially as the winds pick up then too.